Hello, it's Heather from the Crafter Scrapbooker blog, and I'm here to show you a layout I created for me and my big ideas. I'm on the design team, and I thought it'd be cute to show you my process here. So I picked out these papers. They're all from their new paper packs. They're really, really cute, so I, I was really excited to play with them. Uh, one of the packs comes with this beautiful paint-stroked pink and yellow and orange paper, and I was like, yes, I'm using this because I'm totally a pink girl. Actually, I'm more blue, but, you know, pink's number two. So I also cut out this piece of book printed paper. It's in the Hello World paper pack. I think it's actually a baby themed pack, but um, you can use it for anything, really. So here I'm just deciding that that's how I want the, the papers to look on the page with the two-thirds of the pink and one-third of the book print. And I'm also going to add a little strip of that blue in there to add a pop of color so it's not just all pink and white. So these new alphabets are the cutest things ever, aren't they? Um, I usually am a gold person, but these alphabets right here, I think, have changed my mind. They are so pretty. They're glittery and silver, as you can see. Um, they're just so cute, aren't they? I just, there's so many of them in one pack, too, so it's like, I will be able to use these for a long time. So, if I use them on every single layout, just don't judge me. So now I'm just going to be, uh, gluing all of the pieces down to the base cardstock. I don't have any more tape runner adhesive like for my ATG and so it was really annoying that I had to use this bread tape because I'm not used to using it. But it's very very sticky so you you know like you can see I'm only using like one piece on a rather large piece of pattern paper but it will definitely keep it stuck there because it's very sticky. So I actually put a um, border around the edge as you can tell instead of having the pattern paper extend all the way to the edge. Um, sometimes I think that just kind of adds a little bit more, it kind of helps frame the layout. So I'm just placing my alphabet stickers back on my layout so I can see where I can put the other part of the title. My title is going to be I Feel Cute because in this photo I very much did feel cute. Um, and I'm going to use these clear strips of typewriter phrases. They're really, really cute. I had another, um, I don't know if you saw, it flashed really fast since I had this in Fast Forward, but um, I had another pack of these, but it was white text on the clear strip, and you wouldn't have been able to see that on my white paper. So I went with the black and white text, which I love typewriter font, so these will be used a lot. And there's so many of them on one just one sheet. So this is kind of coming together. You can see how my design is going to be. Um, I love using paint splatters. So I'm just using some homemade mist, I guess, if you want to call it mist. Um, it's basically just paint and water stuck in a mist bottle that I got from Walmart. So yeah, it works really good. And it's like my favorite mist ever. My homemade ones are like the best. I don't know why. So now I'm going to be putting the title on. These stickers are clear and very, very sticky, so once you put them down, there's no taking them back up. So I was glad that when I stuck these on, they actually went in the places that looked good. You know, like sometimes you'll just put them on there and be like, oh man, I've needed it over to the left a little bit. But no, these, these actually did good for, I mean, I did good placing them the first time. So now I'm just um, adjusting my silver alphabets to fit the place. So if there's a little bit of space on each side of the alphabet title. There has to be some consistency here. <laughs> so I added a little photo corner as you can see to my photo. I decided I just like the one photo corner which is kind of strange. I wouldn't have expected me to just pick just the one but I think it looks cute. I don't know why but it's cute. So I picked, uh, these are chipboard, they're called Mambi, 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 Mambi chips, um, and so I used, I was going to use the family themed ones, there are some cute glittery hearts, and then the friends ones 
has some cute swirls and hearts I'm going to use. I actually only used the Friends one. I didn't end up using the ones from the family. So I just blotted off some of the ac excess mist so it would dry faster. So I could go ahead and go on with my layouts. And that right here, I'm kind of sad that I didn't have a picture of how I had them placed before because it was like perfect and I could have I guess looked back at the video I had recorded but that's just kind of annoying I didn't want to take the time to do that so I just replaced re repositioned them I guess that sounds better than replaced I repositioned the little strips and they're not as perfect as I I mean they look okay but all I can think about is that last when I just kind of stuck them on there that looks so good but So they're just some little phrases that I'm actually going to add my journaling on a tag that I'm going to tuck behind my photo. Um, there's no reason that I'm really hiding the journaling, it's just because I really like these little stickers and I wanted to use them in a kind of a, a focal point of the layout instead of just my handwriting being kind of the focal of the journaling. This is kind of a different different way to, to add your journaling in and add some cute um, embellishments also and make the embellishments more of a focal point than just your journaling. Because I think the title for my page here actually does more um, explaining to what, I mean, like, what the story is of this page. So, here's my little tag I'm going to put behind my photo. I'm, I'm putting it in a glassine bag that I just had laying around. Like, I get little embellishments in those things all the time. So, so I stuck that down and then discovered that I need to stick my, my photo down first. So, yeah, you'll see how to do that. So I'm using this piece of paper here to try to measure so I get the photo kind of in the center of the layout so it just doesn't look like grossly off-center. Um, I usually use my ruler, of course, but I did not have it over here where I was filming. So I just use some random piece of paper, like paper scrap. You know, it's like, oh, that looks about right here. That looks right about there. Okay, cool. So now I'm just adding a little cute little date stamp and my journaling. Um, actually, the good thing about having several of these tags, I wrote my journaling first, like one time around, and it was horrible. I just, my thoughts weren't coming together right. And so I ended up getting another tag and rewriting it, and it, it turned out better. So. I actually added some more journaling as you can see on the back, but it's kind of like some little, some little, um, I don't know, cute little things that only I guess I would know about. I don't know. It's something that's not exactly part of the journal, it's just kind of an extra tidbit. So I thought this um, natural twine that I, I think it's actually lawn pond twine, but I used it, I think it kind of got the little craft photo corner and then the craft edge on the background so I think that kind of all ties together and then I'm just just stapled some little staples on the title and then um, in the end the last thing I did here was add some shipboard hearts I love hearts so much and so I used some of the little me and my, me and my big ideas shipboard hearts some of them glittery some of them not and here is what my finished page looks like again. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you visit the Me and My Big Ideas blog for more inspiration. Bye!